Good morning, everyone. Thanks for taking the time to connect today for coffee and the Word. That time every morning that we examine a brief part of God's Word, and then we do our best to apply it to our lives so we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. Grab that cuff, and let's get going. As we continue our thoughts on wisdom from the Book of Wisdom, that we call the Proverbs, we're going to talk about complacency. Verse 32 and 33 of chapter 1 say, For the waywardness of the simple will kill them, and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will live in safety and be at ease without fear of harm. As we have seen, the mark of the fool is to be wise in his own eyes. This leads to the deadly spiritual condition of smug complacency. There's nothing more foolish than to think you have life under control when it is not controllable. The classic example is Jesus' parable of the rich fool in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verses 19 and 20. No matter what type of designer life you think you have put together for yourself, bereavement, illness, betrayal, financial disaster, happen to everyone. No amount of wealth, success, power, or planning can make you impervious to them. Fools live in a dream of metaphysical self-sufficiency. They think that they have everything sorted and the complacency leads to disaster. But the opposite of complacency, anxiety, is no solution. We can lose our overconfidence and still be at ease without fear if we remember that we have the omnipotent, sovereign, Lord of the universe as our Father. Christians who remind their hearts that if God did not spare his own Son, how will he not give us what we need? Romans 8 verse 32. If things are going pretty well for you right now, are you getting complacent? If things are not going well, are you getting anxious? How can you avoid both? Our prayer for today may be something like this. Lord, I've been so often whiplashed back and forth without thinking I have everything under control and feeling panic that everything is out of control. Neither is the case. Lord, you are in control. And until I rest in that, I'll be a miserable fool. Amen. Be blessed and have a grace-filled day.